Hello. Welcome to Acoustic Spotlight, the program that features performers of acoustic music. I'm your host, Rich Petra. Today's spotlight falls on a singer-songwriter from Orlando, Florida, Terry Binion. My love has blue eyes, they're the bluest stars I've seen. They shine brightest in the morning, in the window facing Welcome back to the program. I'm here with Terry Binion. Hi, Terry. Hi. Welcome. Thank you very much. That uh, banjo song, uh, very nice tune, by the way. Thank you. Sounds, uh, has a traditional sound to it, but it's not really, is it? Uh, well, I, I wrote the song um, a couple years back, and I was doing more of a, uh, just a standard sort of guitar picking uh, style with the tune when I first wrote it. And then sometime that same summer, I took a couple of claw hammer banjo lessons while I was up visiting in, in uh, um, Asheville, North Carolina. I found a banjo teacher. And um, after a couple of lessons, I was kind of on my way uh, to playing claw hammer style. And uh, so I worked my tune into uh, the tune uh, Blue Eyes into a claw hammer style. And it seemed to fit okay, and it, and it made me feel like I was playing something, playing the instrument more authentically, which, which I, I, I was pleased with. And um, it, it seems to suit the song really well. Right, yeah, it was a very nice tune. Thank very you. Very nice, yeah. But a guitar is your primary instrument. Yes. Right? And uh, speaking of which, you have a, a nice Martin here. Yeah, that, it's uh, a triple O one. I think I bought this back in 95. I've had it for a little while. I usually play this one in an open D tuning, um, but uh, I've, I've uh, changed the tuning on it recently and have been playing it out a little more often. Yeah. It's got a good pickup in it too. My guild was giving me some problems. Yeah. And uh, autographed as well? Yes, yes. It's, it's collected a few autographs along the way. Uh, here in Orlando, several years back, way back in the mid-90s, I think Arlo Guthrie, Guthrie was my first autograph. You might have even seen that show. Um, uh, I had the pleasure and the honor to open up for him, along with a handful of other friends. We played an acoustic set together, and he was my first autograph, this one right here. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there's, pl there's, there's quite a few there. Yeah, it's... it's uh 
you know, interesting way to to have those memories of those shows too. You know, the performances that you yeah, people... yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I have to take good care of that guitar. I worry about this one walking away. How, how long have you been playing the guitar? Uh, let's see. Uh, probably over thirty years. I started when I was ten, so it's it's been a a, a few decades now. Yeah. 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 It, I, I can't really I can't really say for sure, but it's it's been quite a while. Yeah. How about as far as your songwriting goes? When did that begin? Around the same time, I st I think I started to write tunes when I about the time I was twelve. Oh, huh, really? Yeah. 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 My first tunes. How about as far as you know playing, performing in, in front of a, an audience? Or? Well, I I performed those first songs that I wrote. Uh, at uh, my high school. So by the time I was 13, I was a freshman in high school in 29 Palms, California, and I did give my first performance there. I might have performed in church now that I come to th I think about it, but it was early on. I was, I was 12 or so or 11 maybe even when I wrote my first tunes and wow. started to perform where I could. That's amazing. And did you say California? Is that where you were? Yes, I was in California at the time when yeah. I picked up the guitar. And 29 Palms, have you heard of it? No, I haven't. Yeah. That's where Graham Parsons died. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. I should know that, really. Yeah. I should, you know. That's, well, that's where he also went up in smoke, I believe, too. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So they say, right? <laughs> Well, um, speaking of the guitar, uh, since you did that first song on a band show, would you uh, would you do a couple more for us? On sure, the, on absolutely, the I'd love to. Okay, uh, what would you like to do? Uh, I have a, a a favorite little ditty I like to do called Palm All Cigarette. Well, we'll be right back on Acoustic Spotlight with one more song from Cherry Binion. <laughs> Your 
Back with Terry Binion, uh, Palm Oil Cigarette, mm -hmm. and uh, Gail Ann, two uh, two nice tunes. Thank you. I, I'm I'm going to say this correctly, I know, but I, I love the spacing that you give vocally to your songs. You know, I, and when you 
pause. I, I, the phrase okay. that you use, I don't know, it's just something about that. It just seems to really fit. Maybe it's maybe it's because you you know you you some of those songs are they are older songs or are they are they older songs? I mean, like have you written them some time ago? Well, or? Gail Ann was written uh, for Foo, which was released in two thousand two. Paul Mall Cigarette came a few years later. That was to be included in the score music for When Pigs Fly, but it mm -hmm. didn't quite make it in. So that was, that's, that came like in 2005 or 2006. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's fairly recent. Yeah, it may just be, that's your, the way you do it, you know? It's, it, just, it, just, it just sounds so right. I don't know how else to I'm describe I'm not sure that. how that exactly happens, but you know, it's just, it's, it's, it becomes part of the process. You know it when you get to it, I suppose, when you're writing the tune. Right, and how it feels. Yeah, sure. I have a number of songs that will do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Speaking of Fool, I just uh, happen to have a copy here. And, uh, and Gail Ann, of course, is on this, and uh, on this recording, you were joined by Lucinda Williams on yeah. that, right? How did that come about? Well, um, she became a fan of my first record, Leaving This Town. Uh, um, another songwriter out of Nashville that you probably are aware of, her name's Joylyn White. Um, she, she's uh, had a long, long career. Uh, in Nashville, she handed my first CD to Lucinda, and, and Lucinda became a fan, and and uh, uh, we've stayed in touch in the meantime. And when it came time to do the background vocals, I was on the phone with her, having a long discussion about you know breakups and and that sort of thing. And I changed the subject for a, a moment and and approached her about. Um, Maybe taking a listen to the CD and seeing if she might want to uh, sing some harmony on a song or two or whatever she'd like to do. So I sent the whole thing to her, and she chose that song in particular herself to sing back up on to sing some harmony to. So oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And um, just to, so we don't forget, you have a uh, MySpace. Yes. Right? And that is uh, Terry Binion. W W dot MySpace dot com slash Terry Binion. Right. And that's uh, a way for people to uh, keep up uh, with where you're performing. And, exactly. Um, as far as the CD goes, uh, CD Baby. Local stores, CD Baby. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then your local uh, local fine music establishments, if there are yeah. not too East many West of them Records left. Yeah, Records has, has yeah. sold them in the past. Uh, but I'm also good for just uh, sending it in the mail myself. I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. And one other, you know, I mentioned uh, Lucinda, and then I was playing a Jim White CD one day and happened to notice that you were uh, you were on that as well. Yeah, I did a little uh, background singing for him uh, on Drill a Hole in That Substrate right. and Tell Me What You See. Yeah. I think it's the name, the yeah. long title for that <laughs> particular CD. Yeah, he's an interesting fellow. Yeah, he you is. know, he's originally from Pensacola, Florida. Right. He's, in the meantime, sometime after Katrina, he moved uh, to Athens, oh, okay. uh, Georgia. So That's he's up in now. Athens these yeah. days, which yeah. is a great, great town for music. And, sure. Yeah. And uh, folks like Jim. Well, I, I thank you so much for coming down. I appreciate that. Uh, sure. Maybe come back again sometime and we can talk a little bit further. And, okay. Uh, uh, enjoyed having you and, and listening to you. And I'd like to listen to you one more time, if we could. Absolutely. So what will you play? I have an old song from Leave in This Town called Locomotive that's a favorite. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back with Acoustic Spotlight with another song from Terry Binion. Well, that's our program for today. I'd like to thank Terry Binion for stopping by and thank you for tuning in. Terry's going to do one more for us and we'll see you next time on Acoustic Spotlight.
say